Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where our ally pulled us into this war, but honestly it's not going to be very difficult. Like, this war is basically already won. We'll just finish up this siege, and we'll finish up this siege as well. By the time these two finish up, I think the war is over. Like, our ally probably could have won this on our own, or on his own rather, but we are going to be just farming some prestige out of it. We want to get towards Living Legend if we can, so that would be great. We're going to move over this way with our men-at-arms. Not that we really need them. That said, I don't believe we got any war score from that occupation. We did not. This guy's the war leader, though, I'm pretty sure. So we may get something from this particular siege. We'll see. Maybe we capture him. That'd be great. We're at 81%. Okay, we did make some captures. Great. We're just going to group up over here. Maybe we can get away with catching this guy. We'll see what things look like when we can see over here. Hmm. I like it. Do we have leader here? Yes, we do. In we go. Do we catch them? Yes, we do. Perfect. This may end the war. This battle. We'll see. Hopefully it does. 97%. Probably close enough. We can probably just head home. Now, we did definitely want to start fighting Kanem. That said, they do have a number of allies. That, and Their allies aren't that strong, though. That's good to know. We have managed to put together our economic duchy, or our temporary economic duchy, and we may want to do some investment in that for now. Like, we could just work on upgrading our markets here for now. It only goes up to level 2, so let's go ahead and do that. In Busa, we're working on nothing, 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 and we're working on level 2 longhouses or level 1? Level 1. Okay, that's fine. We do need to work on our control over here, of course. But we're just heading home for right now. Like, this war is over. We don't need to contribute anything else. We should be able to put these guys down. Yes. Disband that. Perfect. We're 91% war score. If these guys finish this siege, they will win. That said, they may decide to fight. We'll see what they do. That guy became an insightful thinker. Okay, that's nice. We can ransom some prisoners, and that's something that we'll do after this war, since we know that we have war score from prisoners. But yeah, completing this siege will definitely end this war. We also completed our control growth over here, so we should definitely work on increasing control in... Probably in Niki, I think. Yeah, Elisa currently has 28. That's fine. Okay, looks good. We'll wrap up this war. Eventually. And I want to, I think... I mean, we're ready to fight Kanem, but that's going to be a relatively big fight. I think that we should work on just investing in this duchy that we're planning on personally holding for a while. We'll have to take it back when we inherit, sure, but that should be okay since we only have the single kingdom title. We should be able to just revoke it. it it'll make people angry, but that's okay, I guess. Yeah, we can ransom that. In fact, we have a lot of people we can ransom, and that is definitely something we should do since the war is now over. A prisoner and brother-in-law. Awkward. Okay, that's a decent amount of cash. Let's go ahead and... I would like to call a hunt, but that's not available for two more years. We could host a feast, but we have to remember that we're shy. Actually, I think we're doing okay for right now. Let's just work on investing in this duchy a little bit. I would love... To upgrade this to markets, but I think level 1 buildings is actually slightly more important right now. Okay, we are building there. I would love to build palisades here as well. We do need more prestige, so we should host this feast. We'll go ahead and send that out, and 
what do we want here? Thoughtful. We can use the be befriend scheme. Children gaining extra skill points. I'm not sure if that's relevant. Actually, it is. They just instantly gain them. I thought it would have been new children would gain those skill points, but okay. That's pretty good then. I'm completely fine with that. We did actually lose 26 stress because of Eager Reveler. Okay, we'll take that for sure. Anywhere else we're not constructing. Okay, so we're not constructing in Elisa currently. But everywhere else we are. And so let's go ahead and construct Palisades here. Perfect. So that puts us at 43 prestige. Now we could go raid. But actually, now that we've done a little bit of investment over here, we're up to 63.99 compared to Ghana's 61.71. We're kind of the big boys now. Unpress claim on Dendi. I kind of don't want to. Because honestly, pushing claims isn't as efficient as county conquers right now. So, in terms of counties that we want to conquer over here, we want to do a county conquer, if we go into duchy title, we want to do a county conquer on Kano, but then a duchy conquer on Bornu is the idea. That's the complete ideal scenario there. Now, do we have the duchy title here? Not currently, and we should definitely make that. What is our second duchy title that we currently hold? Mm, boom, boom, boom. Emirate of Kebi. Emirate of Air. Okay, we should give away the Emirate of Air for sure. And that would go to this guy. We're not quite ready to do it yet, though. Although we can ransom more prisoners. And that'll make us ready to do this. So let's go ahead and give this over to this guy. We'll grant him the Emirate of Air. He's going to be super happy about that. There we go. We now have an empty council position in our steward, and we will assign in this guy. Excellent. And then we can go ahead and make our duchy over here by going to the Duchy of Borgu, and we will create that. Excellent. That is now the Emirate of Borgu, controlled by us. Now, if we look at our succession, this is going to be a big, big mess. This guy would get all of it? Do we only have the one son? No, we don't. This guy's our player heir. Fascinating. Why does this guy get the kingdom of Borgu? Which is not created. That would be created for us. Very awkward. Emirate of Borgu, Sheikdom of Elo, Sheikdom of Busa. Yeah, he would get he would get everything related to Borgu. I mean, we could conquer it back, but we're investing over here. So there is that. Not a fan of that, to be sure. I mean, that's just to do with our Confederate succession, right? I mean, I would love to change to primogeniture. Or ultimogeniture, or any of these single... I mean, even high partition would be fantastic for us. Unfortunately, that's uh, not possible currently. Because you have to have the heraldry innovation, and that is so far away. Regardless, we're going to want these... And we're going to have to take them back. And I think that's okay. We may want to move our capital, though, over to Nikki over here. We've already moved our realm capital once this life, though, so we can't. Okay, fair enough. We'll have to conquer this back. That's not the end of the world. We should consider attacking Canem. If we did this... We could do a subjugation war. I wouldn't really like that. I would rather do conquers, I think. Or...
Or we could do a kingdom invasion of Canaan. That would cost 2,000 prestige, of course, which we don't really have. So I think what we'll do is we'll get this truce underway by doing a county conquer over here. We'll declare this. We are going to need to bring in our allies because they have some reasonably strong allies. So we will go ahead and call in our allies here. We can also do some prisoner ransoming. We'll go ahead and do that. And we can call in certainly Ghana. That's 350 prestige. Yikes. So I guess we're not going to call in anybody else. <laughs> and then we're going to make sure that our green rally point is over here. We're going to raise everybody here except for the levies. And we're going to move the levies up over to Katsina. We'll raise them there. And then we'll go begin our siege instantly. Okay. So this guy did indeed join. Hopefully Ghana isn't in other wars. He is not. That is good. They did just expand a fair amount. Noted. Not a fan of that, to be sure. What is our supply limits over here? Okay, that's fine. We'll go ahead and split this in half then. And we'll move these guys up to here. So Yoruba Land, of course, is going to join. We're just going to stick together over here and make sure that we get the ticking war score. Wait for Ghana to show up. They will show up eventually. And once they do, things will definitely turn around. If these guys manage to group up, we're going to be in some danger until Ghana shows up. But we're gambling that we can get this done before then. These guys are on their way in. This is actually a good thing for us. I'm going to wait a little longer. We're going to let them come into here, lock into that position, and then move. Yeah, he doesn't want to attack us here. Okay, so we're going to group up all of our troops here. He is locked into coming in here. There are these guys here. He's also locked into going in here. Hmm. This is dangerous. How many troops do we need to siege this? 300. 5779. This is dangerous, but they're split up. That's the thing. We don't catch this, it looks like. Oh, we may maybe catch this. We do catch this. If they come in, though... That's what's dangerous here, if they group up. They're grouping up, but I think they're too late. I think we got this. Yeah, we're good. They're coming in up here. That's fine. We'll finish this. Oh, we captured him. Well, now I regret calling in Ghana. Well, that was easy. Okay, so we'll disband that. We do not want to personally hold Kano. So we will hand that off. And we will hand that... Is this the guy who is going to inherit everything? I don't believe it was. But regardless, we'll go ahead and put him in right there. Perfect. And then if we look at this... Yeah, this was the guy who holds Zarya. So that's going to be... Very awkward. I don't understand how this is a confederate partition. I don't understand how this is titles being divided equally between our children. <laughs> but okay. Okay. Very strange. Very, very strange. I suppose we could make the Emirate of Borgu be our primary title, right? Or can we not do that currently? Or no, it would have to be the kingdom level title. It, we would have to make Borgu. We would need 250 gold for that. We could theoretically do that. We just discovered Onagers. That's a big, big deal for us. And what are we automatically fascinating next? 
Actually, we weren't doing anything. Public works is maybe not the worst idea, though, to get that uh, existing development cap up. Yeah, I think that's okay. Tribal era economic buildings might not be the worst thing to get either, but I think for now we'll just work on public works since that's getting an exposure. It doesn't actually increase the speed to fascinate and expose it. It's, it's exactly the same increase, but I don't think there's anything else that we're super keen on. But I do think that we should get rid of this unit of camel riders and create ourselves a unit of onagers as soon as we have the prestige. Which, to be fair, we are currently lacking that prestige. But that's okay. Okay, that vassal is injured. Sure. A feast? Yes, I will attend. There are a lot of people here. We're at zero stress, so that's fine. I'm just hoping that we can get a prestige fish out of this. That's what we're looking for. Okay, closer to forming a friendship with that guy. Sure. We may get some stress out of it. In fact, we probably will. Okay, we learned of somebody's attempted murder secret. And someone is now sickly. Sure. That is completely fine. Okay, we gained stress. That wasn't very worthwhile. This is the guy in Gurma. Okay, we don't actually care about him. It's Ghana that we care about maintaining this relationship with. Dendi is all of a sudden much larger. Okay. Our wife died. That's not surprising, realistically. Can we call a hunt yet? In 22nd of August is when we can do it. Sure. Lobi? Yeah, we don't actually care about that alliance. How are we doing on our investments over here? They are definitely coming along. I do like to see that. We need to be working on Palisades or War Camps over here, and I would love to do War Camps. But we are currently lacking in some prestige. That's, of course, expected. And we need 120 to make onagers. That's fine. We could go raiding. That is an option. Man, I'm regretting spending that prestige on bringing in Ghana right now. But how could I have known that we were going to capture that guy in the first battle? Like, <laughs> seriously. How indeed could I have known that? We are getting close to living legend, which is good. I really wish that there was another tribal succession law that like you could a way for tribals to go to high partition. That would be an ideal scenario. That's something I feel like Crusader Kings three is currently lacking in because you can do things like that, like with Tanistry in CK two. Regardless, things are going reasonably well here. We have another child. Okay. Not that they're going to inherit anything, because apparently this guy's getting all of it. Hmm. I have a dumb question. That's a lot of prestige. Okay. Hypothetically, though, and I'm... Okay, so I'm going to check into what this does. This is a really gamey idea. I'm going to make a save here. This is not going to be canon. So the save is made here. We will revert to this save. And then... Hmm. I haven't thought this through. Because I was going to just pull up the console and give us a bunch of prestige to make it work. But that's not how CK3 works. There's... There's no console. I would have to restart the game. I might test it off camera. The idea, though, was just what happens if we disinherit all of our children except our player heir? Like, isn't that essentially the same as primogeniture? 
will make a lot of enemies. And I didn't realize the prestige cost on it. That prestige cost is very high. So that is definitely noted. And honestly, that makes sense that that prestige cost is very high because that would be a, a, a solid way around that. That said, I wonder if you can disinherit them for free? If you have a reason. I don't know. Or at least a discounted amount. If you have a reason. Let's go ahead and call a hunt here. So we're not going to be doing any timeline shenanigans here. This is, in fact, canon at this point. So, uh, that's, it's, it's not going to work as it is. Oh, hello. Who is this son? This is our player heir. Hmm. Okay, well, what if we did kill this guy? Would this guy become our player heir? Yes, he would. Too bad the fox got you both. Okay, so this guy is our new player heir. And he controls Zarya. Now, this is a good thing for us. He controls Zarya. We can give that away, so we're not going to lose that. Everything else remains the same. Borgu still goes. But that is still beneficial for us. We can negotiate an alliance with our player heir, and I guess we will. We return home in disappointment, but hey, we uh, got ourselves some prestige, and we managed to kill our player heir. That's nice. And I note that our new player heir is scaly, whereas our old one wasn't, so that's perfect. We can, like, take over the world as a race of lizard people. I love it. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to go wonderfully. So we can go ahead and create our unit of onagers. And so we shall. And the question now becomes... Hello, did Kanem just lose some ground? I believe they did. They're still allied with Yoruba land. Now we should still be truced with them, right? Yeah, for another four years. So we can't really go after anything over here. We could, however, theoretically look to attack Dendi. This is our sister-in-law. We could negotiate an alliance with her. And we'll go ahead and do that. Excellent. We're not quite a living legend yet, but we're getting there. Promote culture just finished. We should definitely continue working on that. Let's make sure that we're doing it in this duchy over here. This is the primary focus right now. Wonderful. And I would like to continue working on war camps over here. We are lacking a little bit of prestige, and if we were to spend all that prestige, we would theoretically be kind of problematic. We could definitely raid. Hmm. I don't know. At this point, I'm kind of waiting for this guy to die, right? So that we can conquer this back. The kingdom would be auto-made for us. That said, we could make this be our primary title. If we were to save up to 250 gold. Now, we can't really get that gold super easily at the moment. But that's okay. We are working on control in these regions. This is up to 41 without working on it at all. This is up to 7, which is, you know, not great. Okay, we're getting there, certainly, in terms of control. We can build over here, but I think that we should save up at this point and get that kingdom made. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode... We'll see if I remember to do that or not. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all 
next time.